If we all spent some quality time thinking about it, we would most likely agree that transportation is the master key to survival. The 21st century needs a new, faster, and more efficient mode of transportation in order to stimulate an environmentally sustainable and thriving economy. One that is independent of diminishing fossil energy. History has shown us that every quantum transportation advance doubles the standard of living. Steamboats and trains displaced muscle power in the 1800s. Cars and aircraft became more popular in the 1900s because they offered more benefits for less cost. Unfortunately, almost all transportation depends on dirty fossil fuel that is being burnt faster than it can be dug out of the earth. This is why we believe it is time for a new paradigm shift in transportation. So, how does nature do it? If we observe the perpetual motion of the universe, we find that the Earth orbits the Sun at over 67,000 miles per hour. The Sun orbits the Milky Way at 186,000 miles per hour. This means the average person travels over 310 billion miles in a 70-year lifespan without burning one drop of gas. So, if we are all orbiting the Sun at a comfortable cruising speed of about 67,000 miles per hour, Why is it that we don't look like this? Well, that's because we are coasting through space at a steady velocity. The only time we feel g-force is when there's a change in direction or speed. For example, when you take off in a space shuttle, the g-force increases to about 3 g's. 1 g is similar to what you would feel when accelerating in a nice sports car. 1G is also the most you will experience in ET3. So, what is ET3? ET3 stands for Evacuated Tube Transport Technologies. ET3 is quite literally space travel on Earth. A global transportation system that is environmentally friendly, low cost, secure, silent, fast, and safe. If you take aspects of maglev technology, which have been in use for over 50 years, and wrap it in a 5-foot diameter tube, and pump out the air, you are then left with airless and friction-free conditions needed for space travel on Earth. ET3's vision is to build a series of local networks operating at 200 to 620 miles per hour that can eventually be networked together internationally at 4,000 miles per hour. At these speeds, ET3 would get you from LA to New York in 45 minutes. And from New York up through Canada and Alaska across the Bering Strait to Beijing, China in two hours. While maglev technology has been utilized successfully in Japan and Germany for the past 50 years, it seems almost unbelievable that the U.S. is still using 100-year-old diesel engine locomotives. Why is that? What could be stopping us from catching up to current technology and doubling our standard of living once again? For those out there that would say this could never work, the most common misconception of ET3 are the three T's, tyrants, terrorists, and toilets. Some say that tyrants of all kinds will try to stop us because ET3 threatens the status quo. We believe that most of the status quo will actually profit from ET3 through the implementation of more trade routes, which are far more efficient and lucrative than the traditional methods used today. Others have a hard time believing us when we say ET3 will actually be less prone to terrorism. For example, most of the international routes will be underground, while domestic routes would not be that attractive to sabotage because the same amount of passengers targeted in planes, trains, or buildings would be spread out over a 30-mile distance with ET3, since there is only six people per capsule. But the biggest issue in many minds is toilets. Unlike planes with long lines queued up to use the cramped facilities, 
ET3 capsules can be independently directed to the nearest access portal, which is never more than 15 minutes away. Kind of like when you're on a road trip with your family and somebody needs to use the restroom. You just pull over to the next gas station or rest stop. Unless, of course, you have a toilet in your car. Most other objections or misunderstandings are usually of a technical nature, which are overcome quite easily with current off-the-shelf and proven technology. Let's briefly go over some of the technical specifications, such as passenger, cargo capacity, weight limits, and automation. The pressurized ET3 capsules weigh only 400 pounds empty and carry up to six passengers, or 800 pounds, just like the typical car today. Cargo capsules can carry three pallets of cargo, up to 900 pounds, including liquids, gases, grain, etc. But one of the most impressive things about this system is the automation. Today's technology allows this router to switch more data than millions of human operators. And like communication, transportation is on the verge of being automated. And what about the cost of building it? Henry Ford had to aggregate what would now be billions of dollars to build a whole series of factories to do everything from process ore into iron, fabricating steel parts and sheet metal, not to mention engines, transmissions, gears, bearings, seats, axles, wheels, brakes, etc. Instead of those serial processes that added many years in expense, ET3 can use existing technology. For example, billions of dollars have already been invested in automated pipeline products. The Department of Transportation says there are 2.3 million miles of pipelines in the U.S. Vacuum technology is mature. This LIGO observatory is evacuated to a million times higher quality vacuum than what is required for ET3. Upon testing it after two years of operation, it had no measurable leak. Linear motors and generators are well understood. If you get a chance to ride one of these new LEM roller coasters, like the Superman ride, Hang on, because they offer acceleration rates up to four times greater than used for ET3. So here are one of the possible ways I think we are going to get around in the near future. Pull out your smartphone, launching the transportation app, and choose your destination. I want to go from my current location to the Colosseum in Rome. Within five minutes, an autonomous vehicle will pull up to your current location, pick you up, and take you to the nearest ET3 access portal. In less than four hours, you're goofing off in Italy. What about reliability and safety? If we can control the conditions of travel, such as eliminating icy roads, the potential for conflict with cyclists or pedestrians, we can make transportation much safer. Does anybody here want to keep dealing with the following? No. So, is ET3 a viable solution today? Yes. So what's the next step? 2013 has been a really exciting year for ET3. We have gotten major exposure in the mainstream news. A lot of that has been thanks to Elon Musk and the media circus that followed his highly anticipated announcement of Hyperloop on August 12th. But more importantly, we are tentatively on schedule to break ground on the three-mile test track at the end of this year. And, if all goes as planned, we will showcase the ride to the public in 2016. Until then, get involved. Learn more about us at ET3.com and ET3.net. Share your ideas in the forums. Become a licensee. Check us out on the social network. Thank you for this opportunity to present the next revolutionary step in transportation, evacuated tube transport technologies.